Hey guys, it's the Buddy Tech Guy here. Um, I've gotten quite a few comments about the NOS H500 gaming headset, and more specifically, a lot of you guys having trouble making the microphone work. So I decided to make a video on that today. The video isn't the most visually pleasing, but it should be very helpful to those of you who are having problems with this. And if not all, then hopefully most of you guys will be able to fix the microphone and make it work after watching this video. So let's get right into it, and uh, thank you for watching. Twisting the microphone. When attaching and detaching the microphone, it should not only be plugged in, as it also has to be twisted until it's basically locked in place. Likewise, before unplugging the microphone, make sure you have twisted it back so it can be removed safely, without damaging the microphone jack or the plug in the headphones. Connection to the PC. This part is pretty technical, but I've made it as easy to understand as I possibly could. The headset has two plugs that plugs into your PC. A single jack plug for both the microphone and audio, and a USB that is only for the lights on the ear cups. You cannot use the USB to get audio to the headset or to record with the microphone. All audio goes through the single 3.5mm jack plug. If your PC has a combo jack port, that means that if your PC only has a single audio jack port, then your PC uses this single port for both your headset as well as the headset's microphone. And usually it will have a little icon that looks like this next to the port. If your PC has multiple jack ports, then the red one is the one for the microphone and the green one is the one for the audio. And in this example, it's for the headset. But as we talked about before, the NOS H500 headset only has a single jack port. So if you plug this single jack port into the headset port, you will get audio to the headset, but this port does not support the microphone. If you got this headset, you might or might not have got what is called a splitter included. I reached out to the business behind this headset, NGS, and they told me that they started including these splitters with the NOS H500 since early February this year. So if you got a headset from an earlier batch, like mine is for example, you'll not find the splitter included. The splitter takes the single jack plug from the headset and splits it into two separate jack plugs. One for the microphone and one for the headset. So if your PC has separate ports and you didn't get a splitter with this headset, you'll have to go and buy a splitter for this if you want to use the microphone when using this headset. And finally, I just want to show you guys how to make sure that the microphone is properly configured in the settings of Windows 10. So if we go down to the speaker icon down here on the taskbar, and then we right click and click on open sound settings and here on the top there's the output that is basically the audio we can hear and down here is our audio input which is the sound that we record or in other words the microphone right now i'm recording the audio using a different microphone than the nos h500 headset microphone but if i wanted to change to the headset microphone i should be able to find it in this drop down menu and as you can see here in the middle it appears on my computer it's called microphone real take audio it's not necessarily called the same on your PC, but this is the different microphones that you can choose between on this drop down menu. But maybe you cannot actually find the right microphone here, maybe it's just if you're using a laptop you can only find like a built in microphone from the laptop and there's nothing else to choose between. It might be because the microphone on the headset is disabled. So now I'm going to show you how to enable a disabled microphone. We scroll down a little further and then we go into sound control panel. And here at the top, playback, that is the music we can hear. We want to go to recording, which is the microphones. And here I can see the microphones that are in use on my Windows PC. But as you can see, the NOS H500 gaming headset microphone is not visible here. And that might be the same on your PC. So if the microphone is actually attached properly to the headset as well as plugged correctly into the PC, if you do right click here in the middle and click on show disabled devices, and the microphone Realtek Audio does appear. We can right click on it and click on enable. Now it should be ready when we go back into the microphone settings. It should appear here, whether it's called the same on your PC or not. But right now, microphone Realtek Audio, which is called on my PC, it appears here in the microphone input uh, menu, drop down menu. You might have to try between a few different to find the correct one. But on most PCs, there's only going to be one or two to choose between, so it's not going to be that big of a mystery which one is the correct one. If you have correctly attached your microphone to the headset and connected the headset correctly to your PC, and also made sure that the microphone settings on your PC is correctly configured, just like I showed you, and you're still sitting with a microphone that won't show up or won't work, then there's maybe something wrong with the microphone. And if that's the case, there's really not much I can do. 
But I really hope that this fixed the problem for most of you or at least some of you. That is basically what I made this video for. If you did find this video helpful, please make sure to like it down below and tell me in the comments. It really helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day everybody. Bye bye.